Good morning and a happy Tuesday. We are live from the Speedy Oil Change and Auto Service location on Veterans and Bonneville because they are fundraising for breast cancer awareness and research as quickly as you can get your oil change. So with each oil change, $2 of the price point is going to go back to the Susan G. Komen Foundation all month of October. Eight participating locations throughout our greater New Orleans area will have those listed online on WGNO.com along with your forecast for yet another gorgeous and more seasonal day today across the board. Sun's peeking out now at this point, but it's been cloudy in 73 for the last hour or so here locally. Our beach camera at Beau Rivage, nice and quiet as well. We love to see the still Gulf of Mexico approaching the end of hurricane season. But some rain chances are back in our forecast for tomorrow. So a quiet day all day today. Temperatures will continue to climb out of the 70s into the 80s. We'll top out with a range of those low to mid 80s across the board. Your hour by hour breakdown showcasing calm wind speeds all the while and a combination on clouds with sunshine. So by this afternoon, we'll see highs ranging from 82 to 86 on the North Shore. You push a bit further south of the lake and temperatures will level out in the low 80s as well. Morning lows overnight starting to showcase that gradual warming trend as we approach daybreak. You're going to see rain chances adding on. So we'll start out in the 60s and 70s as opposed to this morning's 50s and 60s. Then the rain comes back relatively quickly as we approach 5 to 6 a.m. Our drought index, of course, showcasing we need the rain desperately with our exceptional to extreme category across southeast and central Louisiana. Of course, that adding to the saltwater intrusion situation. So in the tropics, we've been watching this area of unorganized thunderstorms just north of Mexico's coastline, and we're going to continue to see that all pull a little bit further north, creating tropical moisture and therefore the rain chances in our area. Not to mention we've got some Pacific systems adding on as well. The overall rainfall amounts are going to be anywhere from a half an inch to two inches, depending on where you're watching with us. So as we set that future cast in motion into the late morning and afternoon, you'll see heaviest downpours staying offshore with rain chances inland in coastal Louisiana, as well as New Orleans over to towards the Mississippi Gulf Coast. That being said, we'll head into the afternoon time frame with a few more chances on the North Shore and then maybe a final round close to sunset before we dry out into the overnight time frame. So again, not everyone is going to get in on a ton of rain to help out with the drought situation, but we should see it just about everywhere for at least a little while. Those heavier amounts concentrated further south and towards the coastline. Humidity values are going to be gradually rising as well through late week, and then we have another front on its way just in time time for a second gorgeous weekend following the one that we just said goodbye to. So our cooler weather is with us for the foreseeable future here. These next six to 10 days look really pleasant. No higher than about 84 during the hottest part of the afternoon. We'll see those 70s back in your forecast for this weekend. Looks like we could stay close to 81 as a high on Saturday and then we'll be sunny and 74 on Sunday. Overall looks absolutely fantastic. Cannot beat the Blues Festival forecast. Of course, LBJ is going to be out there live with you Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So great weather just in time for all of our weekend festivities. Your seven day showcasing just this overnight temperatures will be really lovely as well. So enjoyable sweater weather for the porch in the mornings. Back to you, Amy.